Hi there YouTube and welcome to Tech Cravers. So you want to play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on your Odin Pro using a classic controller scheme. Well, then I have both good news and bad news for you. The bad news are that Skyward Sword's original controller scheme is an absolute mess and I sure hope that Nintendo and everybody else are giving up the ideas on making a motion controlled adventure game ever again. The good news however is that if you follow my settings in this video, Skyward Sword will be fully playable in whole and you might even learn to accept the controls. Oh, and I also want to point out that for the first part of this video I played in a slightly too underclocked mode and that I changed it about halfway in. At the end of this video I will of course share both my emulator settings and the controller settings. You might need to tweak the controller settings to suit your needs, but just by following my steps you will definitely get going with your own adventure. Huh? <laughs> 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 
Now, if you thought sword swinging was awkward in this game, then you don't remember loft wing flying. Even with its original controls relying on Wiimote tilting and nunchuck hammering, this was an absolute horrible experience. Luckily, you have settings for all those controls in the Dolphin emulator, but let's just agree that it's very bad, although fully playable once you get the hang of it. And that's been it. I'm gonna end this video with my settings to my Dolphin emulator to get this game running as smooth as possible and I'm also gonna share my controller key mapping to get you going. You might find my Odin Pro key name map useful so make sure to download that later and share it with other Odin users. Also make sure to like or comment this video if it helped you out, that means a lot to me. Also why don't you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Thank you.